So the Fortuna update is here and upon entering the game you will be given this thank you window which is basically one year since the Plains of Eidolon entering Orb Valis and yes I'm aware how many people told me off for calling it the Orbs of Valis but never mind. Reach Venus of Veteran Tenno, unlocked it for years but you obviously have to unlock it to get to uh, Fortuna or the Orbs of Valis. New players might only be making their way there now I just said that you'll have to make your way there but nice little touch there oh no not another cephalon oh there's just so many actually this looks like oh yes this is because they've made some changes to ribbons the very subtle changes just to make them a little bit more noticeable this is because there was some changes to the ribbons and my, previously it was 75.9% electricity on this one, it is now, whoa, that's a lot less actually. Multi-shot, gone down, damage from 182 to 100. Okay, so Rivens have just been given a giant, they say it's a, I've actually completely forgotten the name of it, Riven Disposition Changes, which means Rivens that you have, some will be stronger, some will be weaker. Like the Pyrona Riven here, this is actually a lot weaker than it was before because it's taken multi-shot and damage and the elemental side of it away. That is actually kind of a, a huge nerf to Rivens. That's going to go down well. But the biggie, of course, has got to be Orb Valis. You have to go to Fortuna first. I really wanted to just jump straight into Orb Valis, but... Yeah, it will get there. Because there is three new weapons. The first off is Garuda's primary weapon. This thing, it, basically it's a huge but deadlier. Looking like, okay, it's got okay crit, really good status on its semi-automatic. On its burst fire, it has pretty good, again, actually. Damage-wise, it is very heavy on the slash and... Can't help but notice that these numbers are pretty much exactly the same. The only thing that's changed is the reload speed and it becomes alarming and it has no fire rate. Blueprint for this of course is obtainable from here which is nice and it, not asking for anything special to build it either. Most of this is obtainable fairly easily. Then we get onto things like the batter core here which at first I thought this was a sniper rifle, it's not, it's another one of these core based weapons which can be kind of weird. Maybe slightly optical-ish, it's magnetic and puncture based. The charge attack doesn't look like it has any damage whatsoever to it though if you look at this. So interested to see what the charge attack does but this is what you saw them running around with. And the blueprint, okay it's in the energy lab, it's not on in Fortuna hidden somewhere which is good because the Occupore is also in the same lab this is a secondary and puncture and radiation this time round nice status percent still kind of weak on the crit though and there is also the Kreska this is a new scythe based weapon which does it's got an okay attack speed okay crit chance Again, decent on the status, but damage-wise, seems kind of low with a 5 puncture, 40 heat, 15 slash, and 10 impact. So, again, with the very heavy on the elemental side for these new weapons, and this, energy lab by any chance? Oh, look, the blueprint will be in the energy lab. There is a new sentinel, which will scan life forms and scan matter as default. It's designed to assist in search and rescue. Okay, this will be great for some of the new features, but there's a downside. The blueprint is going to be from the business in Fortuna. This is, I was really hoping the weapons weren't going to be there, which I'm glad to see they weren't, but the Sentinel sadly is. And of course, as the blades come in here, actually, that is a very good shot as it comes in with the blades down the hand and then the. Ooh, that's a very nice shot of the new Warframe, actually. Uh, the parts for her before anything else. Yep, lots of blood. Oh, assisting. Okay, it's going to be through bounties. And the blueprints are hidden in the bounties of Fortuna to build her. That's 
kind of a shame to be honest because her abilities look absolutely amazing with her dread mirror and its ability to rip life from enemies the blood altar impaling enemies yeah you can get where this is going it's very blood orientated uh bloodletting where you basically sacrifice your health to generate energy these all go really well together and seeking talons that is apparently not as i don't want to say gruesome but not as it once was from being previously shown she has 300 armor which should make her really good with the bloodletting ability uh, 100 health 100 shields 120 energy and a one sprint speed so not slow but damn just from the video here when it comes down those claws look vicious weirdly not that looking forward to her when it comes to all of this the bit i'm looking forward to more than anything else has just got to be silly little things like there's new operator outfits that you can get down there or you can buy them that look just a little bit more out of the ordinary from what we are used to seeing operators wear. All four of these, yeah okay they're kind of silly on the uh, platinum for some of these but you gotta remember it does say it's armor it's not going to add anything apart from a visual change to any of the actual operators but they do look really nice. The I actually kind of like the legs on that. These I was actually hyped for and skipping the video mainly because it's already shown Fortuna finally in Fortuna and there was more in this that was expected of course we have the kit gun guy rude Zood, over here building the kit guns actually looks I'm just gonna go for the first part of everything. Kind of weird, because that's a secondary. <laughs> that just looks weird. It obviously, it's heat damage, and obviously these can be changed for any of the other parts. Uh, wow. Actually. Um, wow. There is quite a lot of the loaders here. An insane amount of the loaders and that does that actually change the damage it doesn't so the damage comes from the chamber continue this way I don't think there is anything else over this side because it all seems to be over here starting with the fishermen the business the business seems to be in charge of the fishing stuff and because I haven't seen him before he's going to give me this huge thing about trying to search for them and also because it says thank you there is a quest for this as well which I have done and that will probably be my next video because that actually took about an hour and a half to finish but as expected dismantling of the servo fish provide the servo fish you can trade them for standing browse the ways you're obviously going to need the spear there's a rifle oh for tranquilizing enemies because of course that whole Ah, oh, what was it they called this? It was something weird, like tranquilize and... Nope, that's not right. It's conservation, where you have to track down enemies and tranquilize them using this. There should be bait as well. Yep, baits, lures. This is going to add aspects to this that's going to be a pain. I didn't actually cover fishing for the Plains of Eidolon. I still, to this day what a, over a year later have everything for that video sitting on a hard drive I just never made it because there was something like 200 different parts to it and none of it was small moving on because that could get really interesting really quickly there is the mining part of it I think I've seen this guy nope so more nattering this guy hopefully is basically just like the mining stuff yep the plasma drill for that whole new mining thing Ooh, the blueprints are still infinite though but it looks like luckily oh the orb valus scene that's a lot of standing oh i want that so badly but obviously you're gonna have to mine for things there's a drill this time instead of a laser 
whole thing looks really nice actually. Then right next to the mining guy is as expected legs. This it has this whole thing to do with that quest again that will probably be my next video because this isn't who moving on. This obviously is where you can come to build your moors. Obviously it's got to be a top hat. Let's go with that. There's no actual image until we're finished. Whoa. Ah, oh, there's only one bracket. That's fine by me. It means there's probably going to be more, but it means you can change the gyro, which seems to be the main part of the body for lots of different ones. And these guys have got some very weird emotes to them. Like, they were showing it off in the... It was like a mini stream that they, Steve had that showed... And I really wish I had it to kind of show it, but when you go down, it will actually do this weird animation. And you can see that when you guild them, it's going to go up. But because there's so many different things you can put on this, the core actually seems to be the back, the gyro seems to be the front, and then obviously the head. These are going to be weird. Then there's the keyboard stuff, but before we get to that, there's one last person on the second level to this over here, and this is the guy, as I mentioned earlier, to get the debt bonds. You've got to purchase these using elements that you mine and credits. You use these to basically get their debt you buy the debt from people and it includes the debt bonds. You need the debt bonds to level up. So you are going to be purchasing these quite a lot. Ah, that's what it is. It's not the lost kids, it's vent kids because they live behind a vent and in the ventilation system. Vent kids standing. You gain this by doing tricks and such on your keyboard, which again, you have to do the quest to do. Next title. No, it's not actually going to tell me what I can do for that. The offerings, bigger keyboards, different ports for keyboards. Because you can, as you can see, uh, the blueprint, that's part of a keyboard. You can build the keyboards using blueprints from this. And, yep, definitely confirmed there are mods for keyboards. There are also races that you can do on the... Valus itself, but you basically have to go out and do many, many, many tricks to be able to do this. I'm not buying any of these because each one of these is the same as leveling this up. So you want to do the races and build the best keyboard that you can. And oh, it actually popped up this time. Enter the back room. Uh, what is back here? There she is, Little Duck. What does Little Duck actually sell? This is one of the... Not a spy, but this is one of the people who was involved in that ARG game and she collected a bunch of stuff and they said if you know where to knock you'll be able to find her. Turns out she's not just going to pop up randomly, kind of like Barrow does, but she's here. I want to say all the time, but I honestly don't know because I've come to this door several times and it wouldn't open. So in, now we can see her and she's just talking. So what will it be? Uh, Fox standing. What will you offer? It's the cosmetic items for the operator at... There's an, it's actually blueprints, so you'll have to build them, and it uses, ooh, lots of different resources from mining on Valus. So after an epic fail, I think I'll just kind of jump in and summon the keyboard, because it's one of the big things that people have been after, and I found a trick to get it to launch right there. For some reason, I have two of these, but it's an infinite use item, and... You just instantly have a keyboard. What is that? I have... Oh, that's one of the races. I still haven't figured out the controls of this. Go that way. Thank you. You know what? Let me off. Dare I try? That's not one of the races. That's just a... 
United agent that's out here. But on the keyboard, you would have noticed these weird things pop up. Is that one of the races? Yes, there's the races. I know for a fact I'm probably going to regret this, but we'll launch this. Even though the controls on this, I have no idea what I'm doing. And basically try and uh, get on top of that pipe, like so. And I jumped off the board. I keep doing that. I cannot stay on these boards. There we go. And now we just grind. I miss the multiplier though, which just downright sucks for me. More speed please, this is after all a race. These are how you are going to get your rep. Remembering to do weird things like... And I missed one. Jumps in the middle. And hope that doesn't happen because you will just go flying if you come off the keyboard. Because the caves apparently look amazing. Ooh. Actually, the dripping effect as we came in there. Get my way more. Wow. They actually do look absolutely amazing in here. And there's the mining things. I don't have the new laser, so I'm not even attempting it. But there is lots of things to do in the caves. It's not just a cave that's there to look pretty anymore. I mean, it still does, but there's supposed to be little things to do in here and... Here's another cave. This is actually going further down. I'm traveling down in this cave. You can see that the actual map has changed as we go further down as well. Come on, further down. No, this is an exit. So this, this, wow. It actually brought me out in a completely different place. No, it didn't. That's where we went in. No, this isn't where we went in because it had those drippy things. Can I go further down? I doubt it, but there is so much to do in this update and so much probably left uncovered, but this video is going to be ridiculously long as it is. Oh, this was the ex another exit to the same cave system. Oh, and I haven't even touched on that tracking thing because, yeah, that whole conservation thing where you have to find an animal, you have to find the poop and then track it down and that is insanely time consuming but you kind of need that if you want to be able to get a hold of these these are basically plushy versions of the animals that you can save in the conservation thing that you can then place on your landing craft it is kind of weird but as you can see the emblem you need one of each to be able to get this so that, as you can see, there is a lot of things in the conservation system to find, catch, and then five of each to be able to get a plushie to put on your landing craft. So I think we'll leave this off with the plushies. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to go get my sanity checked. <laughs>